Hello, insiders. Newsflash time. It's been a couple weeks, so we've got a lot of stuff. First item, changes in the real-time data system. We are slowly rolling out a new change to the system that provides the real-time reports in YouTube analytics. It's gonna be more reliable. We know we had a few outages on the old system in the past, but it'll also be more accurate and allow us to add more real-time metrics in the future more quickly. For example, uh, real-time CTR and impressions are coming from the new system would have been very hard for us to add it to the old system. Next, launch of the copyright strikes modal. So this new feature displays a channel level view of a creator's copyright strikes, not to be confused with con content ID claims. It is accessed from the strikes card on the studio beta dashboard. The modal provides the following information. First, you know if you have any videos that were removed due to copyright takedown notice, you know who submitted that copyright takedown notice, and new, you know the specific description of the copyrighted work provided by the claimant in the copyright takedown notice. In the past, that was never visible and creators are saying, hey, I, I, don't, I, I need more information. Now, in most cases, we now show this so the user knows exactly what content has been allegedly infringed. And if that info is not available, there is an option to contact the copyright team for more information. Lastly, there's also actions that the user can take to resolve the strike. So that is now available to 100% of people and it is only available in the studio beta. This capability is not available on our legacy studio uh, classic. Next, if you haven't tried the new uploads flow in the Studio Beta, please do. The new uploader is not only built on our faster, better technology stack, it also introduces several creation tasks that were missing from the legacy classic flow. Uh, in addition, it offers the creator more information along the way, providing policy and best practice tips and information about the video state. It is rolling out as the default experience by the end of the year. We love your feedback. Uh, next year, we plan to launch the ability to upload multiple videos at a time and improve the discoverability of scheduling. Uh, to note, you can still access the legacy upload experience by clicking the Upload with Classic Studio button. Uh, I don't recommend it. I think the new uploads flow is way better. In fact, um, the new desktop upload flow will soon become the default for all creators. It is currently the default for 5% of creators. Um, if needed, you can use the escape hatch uh, to go to the classic uploader. Again, don't recommend it. Next, uh, we are changing watch time units in studio from minutes to hours. Uh, we'll be changing the units of watch time on YouTube analytics, studio, web surfaces from minutes to hours. You'll see your watch time divided by 60 as we transition from many minutes to hours. The rationale is creators were telling us, like, I don't think in minutes. Uh, the YouTube partner program has a requirement that's communicated in hours, but then YouTube analytics and studio beta say things in uh, minutes. So I agree. So now we're going to hours, hours everywhere. I don't know if we're gonna do it in classic, in the legacy classic pr product. Um, nobody really touches that on the engineering side anymore. It's, it's just a, a burden. Uh, next, bulk monetization features. Yes, bulk monetization features will be available in the YouTube Studio Beta. Creators will be able to turn on and off monetization, add formats, add breaks, set upload policy, in bulk from the studio beta. This was a huge piece of feedback we got recently from creators about things we can do to make the studio beta better. We heard you, made that improvement. You should see it shortly. Uh, speaking of the studio beta, I wanna have a shout out to some of the people who made videos that uh, have been really helpful in terms of us improving uh, the studio beta and giving us great feedback. So let me just uh, acknowledge some of those right now. Uh, one was from the Stupid Robot Fighting League. Another is from ALSW and then Jack Frags. So thank you to you all for giving us that feedback. 
Uh, those videos were reviewed by the Studio Beta team and a lot of the ideas have been incorporated into upcoming improvements, so stay tuned. Next, and this is the last thing about the Studio Beta, I did a live stream with the folks at vidIQ about the Studio Beta, including some tips, context, why we're doing it, how to get ready for the eventual bye-bye to Classic. Uh, and what the bye-bye means and the different phases of bye-bye. So go check that out if you're interested. Next, the hold potentially inappropriate comments for review feature. We are continuing to roll out making that the default comment setting for more channels. It will allow you to have a hopefully more manageable comment section and then your viewers can focus on the comments that add the most value and then you can review some of those borderline cases if you want. Next, uh, viewers can now purchase super stickers on iOS. This launch enables purchasing of the Perfect Pack. All packs will be made available in Q4. Super stickers are already available for purchase on desktop and Android. Next, we routinely hear from subscribers that they wish for additional features on the subs feed to help them catch up with their favorite creators. This is often from more active subscribers who have lots of subscriptions. Based on this feedback, we are introducing new categories on the subscriptions feed to help subscribers browse the feed and catch up with your latest uploads. The new categories will be like all, today, continue watching, unwatched, live and posts. We are starting these experiments on iOS and the feature will come shortly to Android. Next, we have more experiments. Two experiments for channel memberships. First, a new card that on click opens an engagement panel that shows comments made by members. That's on the watch page. Second, highlighting visually distinct UI and elevating the highest rated member comment to either position two or three in the comments feed. So another reason to become a member of a channel. This will be starting in the next few weeks. Initially, a very small experiment with only whitelisted creators. If successful, we may scale it to more. We're hoping that the member community is a highly engaged community and comments from members are valuable to the user base and the creator. It makes it easier to discover these comments. It also gives creators an easy way to see and reply to their members' comments on their own watch page. Lastly, we also know that viewers who are active commenters have a much higher likelihood of becoming members, so everybody wins. Starting on October 31st, we'll begin to default those who use events into the new live control room. We will give all creators that use events a heads up this coming Thursday via the classic events page. Next, Teespring has announced a partnership with streetwear brand Champion. This partnership allows Teespring creators to use Champion garments as the base product for their merch and product drops. Next, you can now shout out, collaborate, tag fellow creators with at mentions in your video titles and descriptions. We'll start an experiment of this feature in YouTube Studio Beta this week for a percentage of creators with more than 1,000 subscribers. This feature is not available in Studio Classic, the legacy platform. It will never come to Studio Classic. When uploading a video from YouTube Studio Beta, just add the at sign followed immediately by the channel name in the title or description field and select their channel from the dropdown. You'll also be able to see when someone at mentions your channel across community posts, YouTube stories, video titles, and descriptions from your notifications inbox. Select the mentions chip and you'll see everyone who at mentioned you in the last 30 days. Note, you can only mention someone from YouTube Studio on your computer. Editing a video with an existing mention on mobile will replace that mention from the video with text. So basically, that feature has not yet come to Studio Mobile, but if it's very popular, we will be happy to bring it. And uh, especially if we can get everybody off of Studio Classic, the legacy desktop program, which is consuming way too many resources. Uh, next, we are also launching a new channel setup flow. So if you are starting a brand new channel, there's an improved setup flow much more easier to understand, clearly laid out, it has some advice, it looks more modern, it's a little more reliable, 
So if you're ready to start a new channel, you'll have a new experience to set it up that will be improved. That's it for this week. Lots of news. Hope you guys have a great week. Keep it real. Okay, movie time. Still there for movies? You're wondering? Okay, yes, we do. Last news flash, the movie was Spider-Man 2. The first person to comment was Nuance Bro. Congratulations, my man, Nuance Bro. This week's movie, I'm going to give you a hint. I have done this movie before. It is from the 90s. Frankly, if you watch just a few movies from the 90s, you will get most of the Creator Insider movie trivia. Now, since I don't have a lot of long quotes from this movie, because I picked from one character, and I really like this character, I'm going to give you a few quotes, but they're all from the same movie. That's a very nice suit, Mr. Takagi. It would be a shame to ruin it. I'm going to count to three. There will not be a four. You can walk out or be carried out. Why am I giving it with an Irish accent? You can walk out or be carried out, but have no illusions. We are in control. And lastly, sooner or later, I might get to someone you do care about. All right, if you know what movie that's from, such a good movie, put it in the comments below. First person who guesses it will get a shout out on the next news flash. You guys, keeps it real. This launch enables purchasing of the Perfect Pact. Perfect, perfect. What the f word is this?